Hello, this is Julia Children with more recipes for children. And today, a switch. A recipe for all you frustrated housewives. Frustrated in the sense that you can't seem to get your child to eat what's good for them. And we're going to do some bad lunches that the kids can bring to school with them. And we're going to start with some greens. Now, most kids just hate greens. You either catch them, feeding them to a dog or to the table, or just chewing it up, then wiping their mouth subtly and spitting it out into a napkin and disposing of it. But after you know what to do with these greens, they won't be playing those tricks anymore because you'll be tricking them with Julia's nutritional nifties. Now, artichokes are very healthy, and after you've cleaned and cut it down, you can add some protein to this by stuffing this exotic veggie with peanut butter and chili. Just take the peanut butter and just stuff it all the way around. Just stuff, stuff. This is a beautiful and a little jelly for color. And you just add that all around like that. And, of course, you'll take much more time with it at home. But this is basically how it looks served. Isn't that delicious? Won't your child just look so suave in his school cafeteria eating this artichoke P and J? All right. Now, here's another bagged lunch that we can do. Now, broccoli. Take some cooked broccoli and then take about, oh, I'd say a half a cup of marshmallow fluff. You can do a half a cup or whatever you'd like. Marshmallow's a lovely thing. And then just whip it up vigorously like that. And of course, you'll take more time with this at home. Then just take your broccoli fluff and you're going to put it on two pieces of whole wheat bread that have been dipped and marinated in chocolate syrup. And you just scoop that out, put that on there like that, and you'll just, there's your broccoli fluff sandwich. Now you can cut this into a kitty style for a little fanciness. I like to serve this as an appetizer at birthday parties or junior dances. Or just wrap it up in baggage. That's my favorite phrase. How lucky can your child get? He'll be the envy of the school with his spinach fluff sandwich. Now, if this is all too fattening, what you can do is get your child to diet and eat a little cottage cheese. And the good thing to do is take this little plastic split-level house, take some cottage cheese, and stuff it right in there like that. And that's lovely. See? And all the cottage cheese will just ooze out of the windows. And, and you can garnish it with some little people. And there you have your cottage cheese cottage. Now, the cottage acts as a demi-bowl, so you just turn it around, scoop it out, and eat yummy, yummy, yummy. It's portion-controlled, and of course, you just eat the cottage cheese. You don't want your child to eat the cottage, because if he does, he'll choke. All right, let's go on to some holiday recipes. We have one very special holiday recipe. This, you take some cooked asparagus, and you put it aside, and what you're going to do is take a nice bowl, and take about, oh, I'd say half a cup of chocolate cream, which is lovely, it's delicious. Also, some tomato sauce for a little vitamin C, and just a dash of marshmallow fluff. Ooh, I love that fluff that comes in so handy. And two cups of raisinets, and just whip that up, and there you have asparagus and holiday sauce. Isn't that lovely? And that's what it looks like served. And you can serve this with a nice can of yoo which complements all these dishes quite nicely. And you can garnish them with sprinkles or garlic. I think the best garnish for all of these recipes is crest. And you can make little designs like a star or happy birthday Susie or bon voyage Johnny. Okay, and the kids don't have to worry about brushing their teeth afterwards because they already have. I have so many tricks up my apron. These are Julia's nutritional nifties. Housewives have a ball full in your kiddies. Bon appetit. <laughs>